What's up, guys? This is the Violent Casket. Home to name is Chase. You can check out my YouTube channel <laughs> and Twitch at the Violent Casket, all one word. You can subscribe, like, and comment the bell for much, much more. Remember, home to name is Chase, lamest things. We do trailer reactions, TV, movie reviews, anime, manga, collections, Gundam, records, anything you can think of, including our weekly comic book reviews you can check out the playlist over on the channel we have tons i've been doing them for about three years i want to say uh weekly every single week i don't think i've missed a single week in three years um and that's what we do every wednesday we go we get our stack we read our stack we bag and board them we take pictures in the light box for the instagram over at von casket comics which you can follow there um, and then we sit down and we talk about them with you guys. Little mini write-ups on Instagram, uh, TikTok as well, which is also Vinyl Casket. Um, do videos every once in a while there, and I stream on Twitch every once in a while. Um, we go Indies, Marvel, DC. We rate them 1 through 10, and then we talk about top 3, top 5 at the end. Um that being said, I just want to give a shout out to the manga I'm currently reading. I just caught up with Eden Zero. Got to do a review. I got to figure out a, a way to review that entire series. It's incredible, and I haven't talked about it at all. Uh, but Shaman King's Flowers Volume 1 this collects the first four chapters, and it is incredible. If you love Shaman King, the anime growing up, you like the new Netflix adaptation of the anime that is directly from the manga that caught up to, you know, the man, the anime when we when I was growing up caught up to the manga and then went on its own direction. The current anime on Netflix is following the the manga directly. I've been reading the omnibus formats to Kandansha, and I'm very excited that the sequel, Shaman King Flowers, is incredible. Um, now we're getting into indies. We're gonna start with off with Image issue three, a cover I believe of No One. Uh, this is Higgins, a part of the Radiant Black Supermassive Verse. Still haven't seen how exactly this ties in with the Massive Verse. Uh, I haven't really gotten that many references or tie ins, I feel like, especially in this issue. Um, I do like that this is like a murder mystery whodunit at like a very high federal, like rich level. Uh, involving you know there's lots of facets to the story and in this issue at least we get a lot of things like developed and talked about and um we go after a lot of things so that's really interesting and we get a little bit of no one at the end we you know we get a lot of the book without the main character the the namesake so it's really interesting that it's so entertaining even though we're not seeing that character um really enjoy it i'm gonna give it a set I'm going to give it a six and a half out of 10. Um, then going on to boom studios, we have the variant cover for issue 15 of house of slaughter. I've been trying to get the white covers. Uh, I just like them. I like this artist that's been kind of doing all of them. Um, this is a really good issue. Uh, some, if you don't know, house of slaughter ties into, uh, something is killing the children by James Tinian. And this is like a really interesting storyline that's been going on with uh, the butcher and like him going back to like uh, having to deal with his with the people that took over his family's house. Right. They took it out from under him. We get a little bit more of that story fleshed out. Um, this kid really turning on him, stuff like that. It's like, it's really interesting where the story is going and him finding out that Aaron Slaughter is dead. Um, was really emotional, really solid story. I'm going to give this a seven out of 10. Uh, another boom. We have 108. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is the A cover. Uh, we get this Vessel character very flushed out here. He has a interconnecting deal with Zordon. They have a conversation. It's going somewhere. I'm super excited to see where we're going. Uh, lots of talk about um, Dark Spectre, but we haven't gotten Dark Spectre. So let's see where this goes. Super excited. I'm going to give this, again, a 6.5 out of 10. Um, moving on to Marvel, we're going to start off with the 20th Century Fox stuff first, then move into the main Marvel stuff. We're going to do issue two. This is a variant cover for Planet of the Apes. 
Um, the storyline is interesting. I'm not so the first issue really took us in a direction of kind of reflecting the the modern trilogy, um, and then this movie, this movie, this issue kind of like expanded on elements from that, built on other elements, kind of gave us this kind of wrap around of where this story might be going without really hardly pr- giving us details. Um, and I'm super excited to see where it goes. This cover, though, is sick. Um, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. I thought it was a solid issue. Uh, and then issue 3 of Predator. I uh, believe this is... Is this a variant cover? I'm not sure if this is a variant or not. This might be the A cover. But this is a really awesome cover. And this is a really awesome issue. Um, so... The ship turns around. There was someone else in the ship from the guy who was stealing it from last time. Makes the ship come back. They all get in there. Our main character from the last Predator series that wears the Predator armor. Um, she basically lost her arm. They're rebuilding the arm using a machine. Um, we get some more information from the guy that's, that that is her partner. That is, in fact, the guy that survived the attack in the first series from that, that ship. And she's been with him for, like, five years going after tracking these people down there's a lot of like people turning on people and having their own ideas of what they should do really interesting storyline i think it's very unique for predator and i'm really enjoying it i mean this is a seven out of ten um boom moving on the main marvel we have issue two of guardians of the galaxy i think this is the main cover uh this is an awesome series it's funny it's humorous it's uh, really good art um it's a solid series i really wish we would have gotten a direct continuation from the last guardians of the galaxy series uh where they had the matching jackets and nova was involved and the team was huge but this is the main series um and we're kind of like we're back to star lord looking however star lord looks not wearing the jacket that he was wearing in the last series um and it's like the roster kind of from the movies and they're dealing with this you know this infection group went crazy and is now this like thing eating worlds um good issue solid issue gonna give it a seven i do think it's a good read but i feel like the last series was just so good and the team was so big and it was leading to such important stuff that i'm mad that they didn't continue that um Moving on to issue six, a cover for Miles Morales, Spider-Man, the second part of the Carnage Reigns storyline. I'm not reading Carnage Reigns. I dropped Carnage issue five, issue four. Um, it is a good series. It just did fit in my pull list at the time. Uh, this is a rather big week. If you can't tell, it's not like this anymore. I usually get small weeks. For some reason, everything kind of just bumped in to each other. Um, really cool storyline. They give you like what happened in the last Carnage issue that leads into this issue, which is perfect. I thought that this made sense. I like how the Cape Killers or the Cape Hunters or whatever they're called are a thing, and how Miles is getting forced to work with them. And I really enjoyed this story. So this is gonna get a seven out of ten. Um, I'm not gonna get the rest of the series, uh, the Carnage stuff, but I'm gonna stick with Miles Morales like I have been. Um, we move on to issue 13, a cover of She-Hulk. As all always, Rainbow Rowell has killed this series, and I'm really enjoying the direction that she's going. This weird, there's like a romance triangle, there's Hellcat doing her thing, Fancy Just Wednesdays, uh, her getting in a fight with her boss and having revelations of how she really feels. Really enjoying it, really like it. Um... And, but this guy, this villain that she's been hunting down that, like, wants to have this romantic relationship with her is weird. And I wish – I'm so upset that uh, Jack of Hearts got his radiation back. I don't like that. Um, but it's a good story. It's a good story. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, moving on to DC, we have issue 2 of Superboy, the Man of Tomorrow. Uh, if you don't know, I picked up Superboy – issue one on free comic book day and i loved it i did not review it um i was gonna review it i'll probably just talk about it real quick it's awesome get it (laughs) um he was trying to find something for himself to do for himself to make himself feel important when all 
you know, he's back to a world where no one really remembered him before, and now he's kind of just there. And the other three super people are kind of preventing him from having a place. So he goes to this world to try to save this world and is messing with the oh, the Dominators, Dominator X. And there's all these like weird clones, super mutants fighting. And then these Cosmo Cosmeteers get involved. They don't trust him in this issue. Uh, it's basically him getting them to trust him and them fighting and not listening to him and wanting to superhero the way that they don't superhero on earth and with murder and stuff. And it's really just super would be like, yo, you're going to be my team. Like the Cosmeteers are going to be his legion. And I really like that. And I thought it was really cool. And um, yeah, it was just interesting. I'm going to give this a seven and a half. Um, then we go on to issue one. Then this is the variant cover. This is issue one of Titans cover by Jim Lee. Um, I like this cover. And I like this issue. And I wasn't sure if I was going to like this issue. Um, and it ends up, I'm going to spoil it because it says spoilers in the title, ends up with Wally being dead at the end um, and Garth refusing to join the team. Uh, no mention of Roy, which is still annoying. They have not mentioned Roy in Titans, in Nightwing. Where is Roy? He's in Green Arrow. He's there. He's running around. He was in Teen Titans Academy. Why is Roy not here? Where is Roy, guys? You're forgetting Roy. You can't keep doing this. You can't keep leaving Titans out of Titans. Um, you got OG3. You show Garth in the story. You have the new Teen Titans back here. Where is Roy? Um, that being said, awesome story. Really enjoyed it. Uh, I love the romance between Garth and um, Raven. I like uh, Cy uh, Cyborg here. I like Starfire. I'm liking everybody. I think that it's being developed perfectly. Um, I think Taylor, Tom Taylor is the perfect mix for this. It, it, it translates directly from his uh, Nightwing wrong. And I think that him having these two titles is awesome. Um... Wait, who's it? Okay. No, I think... Is he still doing uh, Superman John Kent? I'm not sure. If he has three main titles like that, that's crazy. Um, I'm going to give this an eight. I think it's a good title. And it's definitely a good number one. Um, moving on to the last title of the week, we have The Flash variant cover it, issue 799. Um, this is the second to last issue by Mr. Adams. Jeremy Adams. I'm really upset that the last issue is coming up and his run is ending and we're getting a renumbered flash in a couple of months. But this was a good issue. This is a really good issue uh, that tied up the whole uh, granny goodness stuff and him getting his, his newborn son back and um, all these heroes from like these different periods and stuff working together. It was really interesting to have like, to have the wrestling guy, Wham Bam, and have uh, Gold Beetle do their thing. But, like, Metamorpho was there, and she didn't do much. Um, I think that was Phantom Girl from the Legion. I'm not sure who that was. Um, and then you had uh, Rubber Band Man, who didn't do nearly as much as I thought he would. I thought he would be very much involved in the storyline. I thought him and Metamorpho with the humor of the other two characters would have mixed in perfectly, but it was kind of just like they were shell shocked by these other two characters um, from the multiverse and from the future. Like what? Um, really liked it. The end was crazy. All of a sudden he's back in his, that's what they're not explaining. He's back in his rebirth costume with a beard. Why is he back in his Wally West rebirth costume? I need to know. Is he not going to be Flash anymore? Is that what they're hinting that Barry Allen's coming back? I hope not. No offense to Barry Allen fans. I just think that Wally is a better Flash. I'm okay with having multiple Flashes. I'm okay with having Barry Allen Flash and Wally West Flash, having Kid Flash and having Impulse. I'm okay with having the kids. I'm okay with having all these other characters like Jesse and, and Max. And I'm okay with that. 
I'm okay with having a big Flash family with multiple characters, multiple Flashes, multiple kid Flash. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. This is a good story. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I think it was awesome. Um, with that being said, guys, we have to talk about Picks of the Week. Um, and we had a lot of a lot of books, which is not normal. Um, wow. This is very difficult. Um... That was awesome. Um, I don't think he can. Uh, I think I think that belongs in there. I think that belongs in there. Wow, that was hard. That was really hard. Um, I think I'm just gonna go with this. Um, yeah, we'll go Miles, Miles Morales at five, She Hulk at four, uh, Titans at three, Predator at two, and then Flash at one. And Flash just keeps winning. It's really it's it's crazy how Flash just keeps kicking, but. I, I'm convinced that like, there's a long time where Flash couldn't get anywhere near the top and Flash every time it comes out now is my favorite issue of the week and I just really like Jeremy Adams uh, writing I'm really pumped to enjoy more of this uh, Green Lantern run and with that being said guys that's all I got for the week that's all I got that's all I got hopefully I see you guys again here next week check out the YouTube channel at the vinyl casket all one word where you can subscribe like and comment for much much more hit the bell and remember to get in those comments let's have a discussion check out my instagram and remember to do the biggest favor that you can i need you to stay lame